Hey everyone, welcome to the third part of the inventory series. Today we are going to work on the pickup logic. As you can see here, I can press E to start a trace. And if I hit an item, it will be added to my inventory. This video is only for the logic. The UI will be in the next one. So let's get started. Open your inventory project from part 2. First we want to create our actor component. Go to blueprints, right click, blueprint and then actor component. Name it AC inventory and open it. Make sure that we have the input action set up correctly like here. Then search for the enhanced action event pickup. From the completed, we want to sphere trace by channel, so search for it. Next, create a variable called connected actor, which will be our third person character reference. Before we continue, go to the third person character and add the AC inventory. Inside this construction, we want to set the connected actor. Into the connected actor, we put the reference to self. If you get this error, make sure to compile and save the AC inventory. Then go back to the AC inventory, pull in the connected actor, search for the follow camera, and get the world location. Plug it into the start. From the connected actor we want to get the camera boom and from that we want to get the target arm length. And from the follow camera we want to get the forward vector. Then add to the target arm length something like 500 and then multiply the get forward vector with the add function from the target arm length. Finally, we want to add the get world location with the combined forward actor and target arm length for the endpoint. Pick a radius like 10 and don't forget to set the draw debug type. So what we do here basically is we get the camera which is our start location and we calculate the direction where it's looking at plus 500 from the character R. As you can see here when you start playing. Back to the AC inventory and from the out hit we want to break. From the boolean return value we want to get a branch. And after that we need a function. Call it something like try add item. Give it an input variable, hit actor, from type actor. Connect the function to the branch and connect the hit actor to the hit actor from the function. Inside the function we want to cast from the hit actor to the pickup item, so search for it. Then from the master pickup item get the item name. Before we continue, let's go back to the master pickup item and let's see for our variables. We need to create for all of those a uh, structure. So right click here, go to blueprints and select structure. Call it something like s underscore item data. Next up, we want to have the same items here as in our master pickup item. I'm going to fast forward this part of the video. Stop the video and make sure that you have the same types as me. Now navigate to the AC inventory. Here we will create a variable named current item of type structure underscore item data. Connect the pins by using the make node and combine it with the item name to access all the required variables. 
Here I want to showcase an alternative method, return to the pickup master. Here create a function called getItemData that will return our combined item data. Add a return node with the item data and make the item data. Connect all the variables from here into it. Back in the inventory, retrieve the item data, make it pure and establish the connection. If the cast fails, set the item to null. Next, let's check if the item is already in the inventory. Create a function for this purpose. Here we want to set up the inventory variable. For simplicity, we are using strings as the keys. Normally, you'd want to use an ID or a GUID, but this makes it more beginner friendly to understand. For the value, select S underscore item data. Inside here, check if the inventory contains the given name and return the result. If we found the given item in the inventory, our contains function will give us true or false back. Make this function pure. Back in our inventory, we want our function and a branch. Before we add our item, we need one more variable. Go to the pickup item and add the amount as an integer. Also, don't forget it to add it to the stretcher. Lastly, it's important to set the default value of 1 inside the pickup item, so we have at least one item. Now we can create the add item to inventory function. Get the inventory, get an add node from it, add the input item to the function, break it from here and get the name as the key for our inventory. Back into the try add item function, connect the new function to the false part. Now let's work on the true part. When we already have the item key inside our inventory, we want to increase the item amount. Call it increase item amount. As an input, we want the item again, break it and save the item name as a local variable. Since we already know that the item name is in the inventory, we don't need a branch here. Break the found item and from the amount, increment it. In the find node, set members in the structure to change the values you selected. Make sure the amount pin is set to true and connect the increment to it. In the last thing here, from the inventory, we want to add the item again. As the add function will overwrite the old item with the new increased item. Return to the main function, add the increase function and include a print string after that. And the last part we will return with the boolean added question mark, set it to true. We need this for later tutorials. Finally, we have completed the logic part, but there are some minor improvements we need to make to other systems. Let's start by adjusting the camera position. Additionally, we will add a placeholder hut with a crosshair. Create a widget blueprint hut and add a canvas panel with two images to it. Anchor it, set the size to 2 and 7 and align it to 0.5. Copy this image and paste it with swept X and Y values. In the world settings, create a new HUD class called A underscore HUD. In the begin play from that, add the widget blueprint and add it to the viewport. And that's it for this tutorial. Compile, save and test it out. As you can see, we can press E and the items will be added to our inventory. In the next part, we will tackle the UI part of it. See you in the next one. Bye.